Yo, what's up, everyone? My name is Pixel Echo. Today in this video, we are back on Pixel Gun 3D PC Edition. We are going to be checking out all of the maps with the highest quality graphics settings. Basically, Pixel Gun 3D's had like an RTX makeover. My graphics card is an RTX 2080 Super. It's not super high end, but trust me, it's good enough to check out Pixel Gun 3D in the highest quality. I want you guys to leave some comments down below and tell me which map you think looks the best. We are only now a couple of days away from Pixel Gun 3D PC Edition officially releasing. The first thing on my list, though, is I'm going to purchase my beloved prototype. I've been wasting my coins and gems on this account and not realizing that I do need to somewhat buy some of the best weapons. So we got the prototype. I also managed to get the veteran from inside of the lottery. So anything else? Nah, I can't spin anymore. Let's check out the maps. Obviously, we have to start with Classic. One of the biggest changes on this map is the now somewhat realistic looking water. But that's not the only big change. Check this out, man. Look at this. We have better reflections on the sides of the pool area, which I think looks really, really cool. Let's get up top and see what it's like. I mean, up here, you can't really see too much. The sun looks a lot brighter. To be fair, most of the bigger changes with this one can be seen down below. But you can see it, man. Check that out. It looks so much cleaner. So I think a lot of people are going to really, really enjoy checking out Classic in the PC version. Not too much has changed inside of here. You don't really get to see uh, a great deal inside of here. Once the, the light hits, bro, everything do be looking good. This is my first time checking out Ghost Town. There is currently maybe a slight bug. I don't think the mountains are meant to be black. And that's meant to be the sun, right? I think it's currently setting. So there is a couple of visual bugs on this one, which I'm pretty sure they'll release upon the final version. What I'm checking out is not the final version that everyone will be using. But I'll tell you what, the skies, the skies across all of these, every single map have been so impressive. I would like to have seen this during noon. It would have been nice for some of these maps to have like a, a day and night cycle. Let's just see if there's anything else. You got like the dust, the dust coming in from the west, coming into the jail where someone has broken out. This one, again, it's all to do with light changes. So most of the light maps, like classic or Arabian dust, things like that, you, you will notice a significant difference, especially with the likes of the bloom. I've actually never noticed these trails before. <laughs> so you would imagine Ice Palace is going to be all about the reflections. And once again, you can kind of see it. The map itself is made of ice. So that makes perfect sense. I really, really love the dragon on this one. So impressed with this. But yeah, you can. there's no reflections of players though, but there is a slight reflection. Anything else? Let's, let's go through one of the portals here. Ooh, also the uh, the Ice Guardian guy here. He looks relatively impressive too. I just hope that the developers introduce like um, the ability to turn off bloom and motion blur. I don't know why it is though. The, the walls and all of these look so impressive. And once you start seeing lights, it looks so good. But yeah, there's a lot of motion blur at the moment, which is obviously when you do this, it's blurry. It can be get, it be, become a little bit too much. Let's go all the way up. Oh, let's wait, wait, wait. I seen the dude down here. He's frozen in time. They're all frozen in time, but look at the reflections on them. <laughs> they look so cool, dude. Isn't there a skin like this? I think there is a skin like this. Check out this way. We haven't been this way. The chandelier in the middle also popping off. So with maps like Arabian Dust, you really do get the feel like you are in somewhat of a desert. And again, any map that is bright, you do actually see the effects of this so much more. So can you see how the dust is just going across very, very slowly? It's super impressive. It just adds a little bit more ambience to the game. And you don't really appreciate it until you check it out for yourself. I don't know how good it's going to look on, on a video for you guys. But trust me, when you check it out for yourself, it's super impressive. And this, this is what I'm talking about, like the light rays. Obviously, you can see this kind of content on the mobile version. But when you bring like a graphics card into it and the developers can kind of up the quality, 
it, it stands out so much more. Again, it's all about the reflections and, and the RTX vibe right there. Let's go back around here. Not too much going on around here, but <laughs> this is one of the cooler looking maps. Nuketown also looks relatively impressive. I think Nuketown on the outskirts, though, could probably do with a, a slight update. I'm going to be honest with you. But um, another map that looks really good, especially on a monitor versus like a phone or a tablet. And with the increased FOV, you do really appreciate it. There's not too many areas of this map where you can see the light uh, effects happening like you could on the previous map. Kicking it back at the beach of Paradise Resort with the waves pushing against the sand. I think the water mechanic they have in Classic is a little bit better than this, but still super impressive. This is, from what I've seen so far, the brightest map that you will check out. It's incredibly bright, like to a point where you're like squinting your eyes a little bit. We've got the boats chilling over there. Um, I think the grass could have done with a slight upgrade, but that, that don't worry about that. Here we go, the pools. I'm telling you, man, the pools. Nah, classic still looks better than this, in my opinion. <laughs> looks way cleaner. Dude, it's so cool though. It's crazy to think that this is, or uh, has been a mobile game for the past uh, 11 years now, right? 11 years. A new anniversary of Pixung coming up. So, Paradise Resort is looking clean. They have bloom. A lot of the bloom you can see on players, but you can actually see it there. You can kind of see it popping through the windows. I actually haven't been to see the president yet. This is my first experience of a lot of these maps. I don't think we're going to see too much of a difference on this. I will say, though, everything looks a lot brighter. There is a brightness setting, but I actually haven't touched them. I think the default brightness settings are actually... Rel is that meant to be Trump, bro? <laughs> kind of looks like... Why they got... We got schools in here, bro. Oh, look at the reflections on that. That looks pretty cool. Okay. Nice little grand piano. Sky looks a bit weird. I I've noticed a couple of issues with the suns, though. The sun... Like, if you look top left, it looks a bit weird, right? I have noticed a few issues with the sun on a couple of maps. Like, we did definitely see it on Ghost Town itself. But... Not too many drastic changes on this. But what I will say, obviously we're playing on a bigger screen. Everything looks so much bigger. I know it's really weird to say because it actually is, but it just looks so much bigger. I feel like, I don't know, it just doesn't feel like I'm playing Pixel Gun 3D. I never noticed that out there. That's actually pretty cool. You see how this map on the outskirts is like way better than some of the older maps. So this was the first map that I played in Pixel Gun 3D PC, and I think this pushes all players to do the same. This, check that out. You can see it there. You can see these, like, ray tracing effects popping through, and this map really does pop. There you go. You see it there. The further you go away, you, you see how good that is? I know it's crazy, great, crazy to talk about Pixel Gun 3D and, and graphics itself. Oh, I didn't realize there's a little bit of ambience over here, but... The game, again, they really did push to make the graphics so much better. And there's another example there through the canyon over there. I wish I did have a jetpack. I'm not currently high enough level for that. And you can kind of see the, the rays tracing uh, pushing through here as well. And the game isn't very big in file size. I think it's like three, three and a bit gigabyte in size. Man, I'm impressed with this as it, as it comes down on top of this. They tried to change Sky Island so many times, but nothing... Nothing is going to beat the original Sky Islands map. This is one of my favorite looking maps when it comes to the PC version. Now, this certainly is going to be a very different experience because I've not had the pleasure of checking out a more darker map. All of the maps that we have checked out have been relatively bright rather than like... You know what I mean? Like a darker one. I love this, though. The bloom and the, the aura that it, this gives you is super impressive. Let's go and check out Earth. Here we go. <laughs> this is this is cool. This is cool. Look at the emeralds. The sparkles from the emeralds, too. And the drill. All the, all the dust. Now becoming space dust. Uh, isn't there a couple of events that happens in this one? I guess I'll wait like a second and see what pops up. But you can see, see what I mean with the lights? They've definitely just bloomed and made a lot of the light areas just pop 
I just realized I did have enough coins to get myself a jetpack. I could hear noise. It was coming from over here. Let me check this out. Obviously, I'm not going to be able to check it out as good because I don't have a very long jetpack. But uh, yeah, I, I really like this map too. Now, I was saying to you guys how impressive Arabian Dust is. But because this is a more newer map, this one with the dust popping off looks so much better. Check it out, dude. Check it out. It's so cool with this one. This looks clean. It's a shame, though, because I don't think this is a super popular map. I wish it was. I wish it was. It used to be when it first came out, and then people just kind of stopped playing it, didn't they? Can we? Can we, get a little, we can get a little bit here, can't we? I remember. Yeah. Got my jetpack, though. Here we go. Got, like, the river going on over there. Sphinx over there. Temple over there. So, yeah, I like this one. And I like the kind of ambience around the outside with this one. But this one is very, very clean. This is smooth. The water over there, not as impressive as classic. I'm going to just say classic is the best looking water. What about this one over here? Mm, this is stagnant. It's rock hard. The water's gone hard over there. Uh, it's a shame, though, because the barrier of this map actually ru ruins the map a little bit. Also, a much newer map. There's so much going on in this one. And I, I, I honestly changed my mind. This is the first time for me seeing this. I've changed my mind. I actually think this is probably the best looking map in the PC version. Especially with so many neon lights going on as well. I, I think this definitely stands out the best. Ooh, look at that. That's reflecting from all the way up there, isn't it? Let's go and check out the uh, highway down here. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh dude this is cool this this is very very cool i get like mysterious nightclub vibes pixel cola sign over there yeah this is this is definitely one that pops off a little bit here by far in, in my books the best looking one sniper forts get to use my wonderful prototype here here we go this one what about the water down Ooh. Uh, i mean no <laughs> It's not as clean as the classic. It's not as clean as classic. I just realized that we're in a Badlands biome. Honestly, I actually don't take enough attention of these maps. You just play them, don't you? You don't. You, you kind of miss all the small details behind them. It's the only school I ever enjoyed going to. It is the Silent School. Now, there's one part of this map that looks really, really clean. And it's inside of here. Check this out, dude. I was so impressed with this, weirdly. Oh, I did not know that killed you. <laughs> I was super impressed with that. I think they could have made these lights pop a little bit more for a more mysterious dark effect. I think, checking out the toilets. Let's go down here, but I gotta go and show you that area one more time. Yeah, same with the lava. The bloom is there, but it doesn't pop as much. We've got like a, a blood, a blood sky. The skies are good. And then if we go to, Hold on, we'll go up here. I haven't seen up here. Yeah, it definitely looks a lot brighter. Ooh, scratch marks. Okay. I wish one day they would open up. Oh, I didn't know. Can we fully... Uh, one day they should open up down there, you know. One day. I'd love to see where, where, where it goes to eventually. And then if we go through here... Again, this. It's weird to say, but it just looks really, really impressive. I'm so ready to snipe some players down here, you know. I also forgot to tell you guys. Like, some of the bullets... And the effects look very different on certain maps too. I think players are either going to love the really, really dark maps or the super light ones. But once again, in this map, we do have a few visual issues. Especially with the outskirts. I think it's meant to be like a fog effect. But the moon slash suns are definitely broken. But I love the orb vibe over there. And then I forgot. I know you forgot then. Aha! Here we go. This is cool. I like this. I wish they did more things like this. This is a very good designed map. I don't think I I don't think I like this one as much as the uh uh the parkour one. I think I like the other one a little bit more, but I want to go and see this portal again. Kind of clean, isn't it? It looks good visually, visually impressive. It's crazy how being able to put this oh oh uh, I forgot you can't go in there, can you? You get debated every single time. Was that Slenderman then? Did I just see Slenderman? I can't honestly remember. I never come to this area of the map. But this one also looks very, very good. Checkmate. Another map that looks tremendous on the outskirts. And again, still looks really good on the middle. 
the um, chess pieces look a much more higher, cleaner quality. They haven't started. There we go. You're the first one. This is honestly such a perfect map to try out. I just want to know in the comments section which map you are most looking forward to trying out on the PC version. But this one, you don't see a big significant difference. A lot of the maps, you actually don't. It's only a handful that you notice the big changes. The Chinatown one is also another impressive one. I used this on my thumbnail the other day. It just seems to be the more newer and updated maps pop so much better. I really like this one, dude. The visuals on this are impressive. And we got the fireworks going off. What about the sun slash moon on this one? Yeah, I mean, still a little bit bugged. But, I mean, to be fair, it doesn't look as bad on, on this one as it has on some of the other ones. I, I think this is clean. I think it's definitely between this and the parkour city one that I think look visually clean. Especially, like, the, the attention to details on some of these. Yeah. I like it. Just being able to see all of the map in one frame is probably my favorite experience. Not only with the PC version, but also the mobile version as well. Especially since we have the FOV change and the FOV introduction. Where players can visually see things so much better. I don't think I'm going to make it over there anyway. But Andy's, Andy's bedroom. It's a cool map overall. It would have been nice to see the... Uh, like the ray tracing ability pop through the glass just a little bit more. Oh, wow. Knife party definitely pops. Especially this. I don't know why, but this looks so good from a distance. I was not expecting that. Yo, we got the rhino. Yo, the, the, the dust from the rhino as well. Don't forget these sometimes get set on fire. And this is a map that can actually heal you. I wish more maps did this. I think it's a very unique mechanic. Oh, there you go. A little bit of rays coming from this one. This one turned out very well. I'm impressed with this one. Here's, here's the rhino. Come on, boy. Here we go. Oh, I mean, I didn't want to die. This obviously does feature the dragon as well. Nah, but this one this one is very, very clean. Dude, I, I don't have, like, double jump boots, so I can't kind of show you guys everything. But this is also looking very, very good. This looks way brighter on a monitor versus, versus a phone, though. And not just because of the brightness settings. One thing I am hoping with the release of the PC version is the likes of point capture becoming a little bit more popular. I think these modes have just been left to die and they don't really get touched that often. But honestly, this is a really, really good map. I think Pixagon could definitely repurpose this map to be a team fight map. Maybe even a death match, honestly. But again, outskirts of this one. This kind of reminds me of Battle Royale because there is a segment of the Battle Royale that does look like this. But I just think this map is just underused and is it, it's just locked to one mode. I don't know why Pixagon always lock their, their maps to one mode. Oh, I, I like this room. I like the, the ambience inside of this one. What's inside of here? Aha, armor. What armor is this meant to represent though? Is there any of the armors in the game? I'm not sure, but these look like the modules, don't they? Like the lightning modules. Checked out the bathrooms. I, I just, they're just areas of the map that I never ever seem to go. Here we go. The old school weapons. Don't forget, upon release though of uh, Pixagon PC, the default weapons are getting a redesign too. Oh, that looks good. The portals look good on this one. Let's go to the other side. Yeah, they do. They definitely look good. I like the other side a little bit better though. Another map I probably don't play very often but this one's kind of interesting because this one is oh hello this one isn't like day it's also not night it's kind of like in between slightly where there is light spots like here 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 you can see like a big difference once again the whole bloom effect these injure you don't they yes they do but this one i don't see too much of a big difference also my first time exploring this map wing capture again just like the previous map not too much of a noticeable change just everything looking a lot cleaner and smoother and why does that weirdly look like a hot dog <laughs> um i mean they could have done something a little bit more with with down there being totally honest with you. They should have just turned that into like an ocean or something. I don't even know what that's meant to be. Is that meant to be like treetops and you're like on the top of like the mountain of it? I, I don't know. Oh, hold on. Hold on. We'll go inside of here. Oh, here we go. You've got like a mist. Like a mysterious blue mist. 
Because you've been mining all of these ores. I've never been down. I've never been here before. <laughs> I've never been in this area before. One thing they should do with the point captures, though, is rotate the locations. It's always there. It's always out there. It's always out there. I didn't know this existed. Stick one in here. Stick a point capture right there. Because people spawn here, so you don't really have much cover over there. But I like this, though. This tunnel se seemed to be really, really nice. A very long-standing map in Pixogun 3D. The two castles. Dude, this is probably my favorite frame out of all of the maps we've seen. That looks so impressive, doesn't it? Wow. It actually really does. With the graphics combination, with the FOV change, I'm impressed with this map. I thought I was just going to come in here and go, yeah, it's just like the other point captures. They don't look that good. But no, I don't get that vibe with this. They should have put like a, a chandelier in here or like a ray tracing popping down there. That would have been nice. Not much of a difference with the water. Classic on top as always. I'm liking this though, like the burnt woods versus the, the lush green lavish area oh that looks good though they, they pop out a little bit more so do they to be fair like uh, this give me a good point actually i wonder what that area also looks like when we get up here as i wait for my jetpack to fully load here we go let's get up let's get all the way back up there here we go just the exact same i think the red side pops a little bit more from that side though looks beautiful hold on there's one more area of here you guys have got to see. Wait. I, oh, you can kind of see like a little bit of the light effects going on over there. Under here. I don't think I'm going to be able to make that though, am I? I think I'm going to make that. <laughs> yeah, we did. Okay. Not, wait, are they bats? I didn't know they existed down here. And then we have the walking fortress, which there is definitely a visual bug with the bottom. Has it always looked like that? That's, that's definitely a visual bug. It's going to happen on occasions. Like I said, the version I have isn't the full release version. But I like this, though. I like the snow on this. I think you definitely get to appreciate the snow a little bit more. Unless it's meant to be like this. But it, I, I don't think it is. I think this one and Ghost Town, the whole mountain area is a little bit off visually. I like it inside of here, though. And to get out of the cold a little bit, you know? Oh, I forgot we have boosters there. I always forget about them. But this also looks good. Yo, dude, this looks cool. I know there was one dude in the comment section saying, hey, Echo, can you check out the free play mode with the new graphics? And of course I can. Listen, dude, I don't got time for you. I'm not here to be killed. I'm here just to do a little bit of exploring. The thing is, though, I need to kind of... Oh, that looks cool. I kind of need to get in the sky a little bit. Listen, bro. All right, this is the city. I'll mug you. Please don't do it to me. Is that my car? Bro. <laughs> bro purchased the harsh punisher, didn't he? Listen, man, I, I got the exact same weapon as you. I'm not here to fight, bro. I need to explore. Let, let, let a man explore, please. Come out of there. Don't touch my whip. Please don't snipe me. Please don't snipe me. Please don't snipe me. <laughs> here we go. This looks clean. Obviously, this free play mode is to basically represent, like, GTA style. <laughs> I'm sorry, dude. I'm sorry. Pixel mount. There's, there's so much of this map you'd have to explore. I'm not going to be able to do it all. They're trying to follow me. They're not trying to follow me. We're good. We're good. Woo. We managed to escape the main city. Oh, yeah. In your own time, guys, go and do... Oh, look at the look at the center of that. That looks so cool. In your own time, go and do a whole bunch of exploring. Don't forget with free play, though, it's uh, seasonal. So around about Christmas time, it will change. I think there's three different settings for this. I just wanted to come all the way up here and have a look from over here. Actually, I can't use my jetpack very long, but it looks good. Free play looks good, and I imagine Battle Royale too. So yeah, guys, you're going to have to let me know in the comments section which one looked the best in, in your opinion. I think there is definitely contention for like three or four top tier looking maps. I think Parkour City was probably my favorite overall, and I think Chinatown did stand out very well as well. Uh, but look how much of the Battle Royale map you're able to see too, dude. It looks really, really awesome. I know we didn't go over them all in great detail. But in a couple of days, you guys are going to have the ability to do that anyway. So have a wonderful day.